First of all, I know you guys are probably wondering where my co-host Oscar is, <laughs> but I'll tell you that after the show, right now we have football royalty in the building. You guys know like I'm very cool and calm, but the guy I have here, his energy is so infectious, I just had to tap into it. If you are bored and go on this guy's Instagram, you are just going to come out happy and joyous in the building with me. Is Mr. I love this game himself, <laughs> Mr. Patrice Evra. When you say I love you, you have to say it with your chest. So I you teach me, say, teach me. I love this game. I love <laughs> this game. I need to feel the energy, the power. Did I, did I get that right? <laughs> exactly. Now you did. All right. All right. How are you doing, Mr. Patrice? I'm still alive. Right, I'm, I'm still good. alive. I'm living my best life and happy and content. Right. How's your trip to Nigeria been so far? Seriously, I'm impressed. I feel home. I feel even, uh, I know Nigerian people, you know, since day one, it's so crazy, the, the reception, you know, since I, when I landed at the airport, the officer and everyone, the love is real, you know, I know, you know, they see me always on the screen, but when you see someone in person, that's when you feel the energy, mm. and I'm, I'm really impressed about, uh, you know, the food, the, the culture, I went to a art gallery, it's so much talent, so much creativity. So for my first trip ever in Nigeria, it's, it's just the beginning. Mm. How, the beginning. How, what's your favorite food been so far? Oh, it's, it's many different food. I, 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 we're going to go in the fight with the jollof. Okay. <laughs> jollof. You know, I know where, where, where okay, we're going to no, no go. Jollof was. I remember um, I went to a restaurant and they said, Patrice, did you eat jollof? I said, no. So they put the, the dishes in, in front of me and, and I look, I said, this is jollof? They say, I say, I've been eating jollof all, all my life. life and they say yeah i say yes because that's you know my my dad that's from senegal to, yeah. the chip <laughs> you know jollof it's, wolof you know when we speak thing. the language yeah so i was like we eat that so people start you want to make comparison and they say but what is the best jollof is the senegal one senegal is one is the Ghana one <laughs> or the niger one I said the best uh, jollof is my mom jollof. Ah, true. My mom jollof <laughs> is the best too. <laughs> <laughs> so it's no yeah, fight. Yeah, no fight. How you like your new name, Emeka? Because I want to give you another name. It's, it's just beautiful. You know, I know uh, uh, the kids, uh, normally they call me Evra Bus Stop. Yes. Because they were like, you know, when I open and like come against me, it's all the ball, all the player. It could be like both. So yeah. you, that's your last destination. Ever burst off. <laughs> then uh, someone gave me that beautiful name, Emeka, yeah. and, and, and the meaning is, uh, is, is so beautiful too. So I don't know which name you're going to give me. I'm going to give you Ayo, which means joy and like oh, happiness I because you're that. always so happy and joyous and positive, which is a very nice thing to say. I love that. So that's the name I'm going to give no, you. No, thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's what I'm going to give you. Thank so you. I want to take this interview back a bit to like, when did you know like you first like fell in love with football? Like was it, maybe you were looking at Pele on the pitch or you went out and you were like, oh, this I have to do. Mm. Like, when was that moment? You no, knew no, that? it's just like, you know, it, it's really funny. I never be, I never had like any idol. And I say my heroes and my idol is my mother. Okay. And every time, you know, when I say that to people, they're like really surprised. But uh, no, uh, it's just like when you give me like a ball, I was just happy. I was just kicking around. It's a story when I was uh, five years old. So I played uh, at home and I kicked the ball so strong that I broke the window. <laughs> and my dad came, he said, who did that? And all my brothers said, say, Patrice. He said, no, it's too small, too young, he can't have the power to block that window. So, so I'm going yeah, to punish you all. So all my, my, you know, my brothers and sisters, they were scared. They were, Patrice, go to see them. So I go, and I was proud. I said, no, no, daddy is me, he likes mine. And he took me. He said, now you say, you send like your youngest brother, when you broke that window, I'm going to punish you even twice. <laughs> so he didn't believe until now, you know, who I am. He was this, like, okay, this. actually he was yeah, that boy. <laughs> So there's been like a lot of highs in your career as a footballer, mm. but you have like a moment where you were like very sad, maybe something didn't go your way like on the pitch or like you didn't win like a particular cup or you didn't do like a particular thing you wanted to do. Um, you know, I'll be honest with you, I, I never think about the past. I, I repeat all of that because you can never regret. I'm always focusing the present 
and I never think about the future because you can live with anxiety and, and stress. And when you, you ask me those kind of questions, I don't have, I don't have like difficult, like we all, every single day you, you have difficult moment. Mm. But because where I come from, I'm from the street, mm. you know, I was begging money in front of shops. So for me to say, when it was the difficult moment, I didn't have any difficult moment. The difficult moment is when my dad left the house when I was 10 years old and my mom have like to take care of like 13 children. So in my, in my career, of course, losing like Champions League final against you know, Barcelona, I think I lose three uh, uh, final against Barcelona. So that was like the tough moment in my career. I would say maybe also uh, in 2010 in the World Cup, you know, when uh, Nicola and Elka get sent off at home and we strike, we, we decide to, to, to not train. Those are, but I'm like, God do everything for a reason. Everything you want. Everything you want for a reason. But apart from that, imagine the care of God. If someone told me when I was like 13 years old, that you'd be where you are this today. kid gonna win so many trophies of that. Like I can't, I can't no have jump. any no low moments here. Yeah. So in when you, because you've been like a, a positive guy, always mm. like out of the field, mm. and you know like defenders always have to be like strong and tough and macho on the pitch. Mm. How do you switch from being, oh, I love this game, oh, happiness mm. to come into the pitch where people have to like see you and fear you? How do you... E exactly, and I think no, no everyone has that gift like to switch off and to switch on. Uh, because people don't know what's happened behind the scene, the way I'm working hard. And that's the things even with Sir Alex Ferguson, it was nice because in the dressing room, if you come in our dressing room before the, the game, you're going to say, this is a party. We put the music loud, we dance, you know, we have fun. But soon as five minutes before the, the kickoff, it, Ferguson turned the music off. You see like warrior, ready to go, you know, for the fight, for the battle. And that's, that's, that's the gift because in, in now, in all day, like the new generation, when they do something, they can be distracted. But us, we were allowed to, to do whatever we want, but we know when the training start or the game start, like we are like focused. So that's why I say like to people, like Danny Alves is a, is a good example. He's like myself, we played together at Juventus and he's a crazy and funny guy. But I remember when I was in the gym, he was in the gym with me because we don't show that part. So it doesn't matter who you are, that's why on social media, you see uh, myself when I am with close people, my friend, my family, and I decide to share it to the world. So how did you know like you had this Instagram personality side of you that is always so bubbly and lively? Because sometimes <laughs> like, when I just come to your page and I'm just like, I just start laughing. And how do you know like you had this thing? No, I, I didn't know. I'll be honest with you. I, I know my friend in the dressing room, everyone's, you know, oh my God, Patrice, your banter, you know, you're so funny. And it's like now it's so important what you just say. When I saw some people, they say, Patrice, my dad, you know, passed away. I just watched one of your video and you make me smile. This is more important than winning the Champions League. Mm. It's a gift mm. being connected to people, related to people. But that's, that's what I say. I was against social media. I said, I will never be on social media. <laughs> And I've been on social media because people were doing a lot of fake account. And oh, when yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah when yeah. I talked with Paul Pogba and he was on Instagram and he know the people, he said, Oh Patrice, I think you should do like he called them, they say if Patrice do is like a certified account, then you know people won't uh, yeah. follow all those. Uh, so I did that. Then I remember the first time I was uh, it was after shower, I did a video where I was singing. I like to sing, <laughs> even if I have a bad voice, I don't care. I was singing and everything, and I said, I love this game. And that's the, the way he, he, he keep going. But I, I didn't know it was like going that far. Because people, like I say, they feel connected, they feel related. And if I can give that joy, just doing a video, you know, I will keep doing you, this. You, you do give life. me the joy, because anytime I'm on your page, I'm always happy. So speaking of you singing and dancing, what's like a, wow. some of your favorite Nigerian songs that you like now? You know, you, you, you want me, I, I want to live in <laughs> peace. So people ask me always that question, you know, Davido, Bernard No, 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 you can, you can like three of them. You can like three of them. You can like three of them. I love all of them. You can like all of them. All of them. I, <laughs> I won't pick. I, I know uh, Bernard Boy personally, but I, I love all of them. I think uh, 
you can see the, the Afrobeat uh, everywhere in the world now. People love Afrobeat. Yes. The read, the dance, the joy. But that is all about Nigeria. So no, I would say all, all, all the music. All right, of that's very good. So, um, final question. For people that like haven't read your book, mm. what would you like, without giving away any spoilers mm. or anything, what would you like for us to take away inside? Yeah. I, I think my book, you know, when you, some people, when they do an autobiography, they, uh, they make themselves clean, you know, they look good. No, my book was really important because I want to inspire the, the young generation. Because, you know, kids, when they see like a, a football career or someone like succeed, they just see like the end. The top part. Yeah, but this is a long journey, you know. In my book, I'm being really transparent, really honest. I talk about everything, you know, I say, if you want to, you know, to reach the top of the pyramid is really easy, yeah. but to stay at stay the top, there. that's when you have to make a lot of sacrifice and everything. So many people, they, they read my book and they, they feel related because I say, when you're born as a black person in this world, it's already a disadvantage. When you grow up in the streets, uh, it's not like you want to play the gangster, it's about surviving. And when you've been sexually abused, is you're a victim, it's a trauma. But with all of that, I show myself my family, the world, I can not make it. Right. So it's resilience, yes. passionate about life. You know, when you see me happy on my video, I, I don't like people, they act, no, me is real. That's why when people, they meet me, they're like, wow, Patrice, actually, this is you. This is, I'm, I'm like, yes. I'm still pinching myself right now. I'm like, yeah. yes, I'm, I'm like, this is me. You know, I'm happy, I'm passionate about life. When I was 13 years old, I was begging money in front of shop. So I'm, I'm to, to, uh, to uh, buy a sandwich, so I explain all of that. That's why my first chapter is the best chapter because it's my childhood. Because even people, they were like, wow, this guy's got all of that and he's still it's happy still, yeah. because this is me. I say, God have a plan for everyone, even the universe, you know, and I believe a lot in, uh, in angel. And I, I try to use all my angel. You know, I have a crazy angel, <laughs> serious angel, funny angel, grumpy angel, sad angel. <laughs> And you know, when I when I gonna leave this world, I want, you know, when they all my angels they look at me, they come with me, you know, to the next world. I said I but I, yeah, but I think the grumpy angel will be like, Oh, you didn't use me <laughs> enough. I'm not yeah, coming yeah, with I don't you. Think yeah, you used I don't support all. you. I don't think you yeah. used at all. Exactly. <laughs> so thank you very much. And the only French I know, I'd say gracias for coming on Gracias, show. <laughs> gracias is Spanish. <laughs> So uh, what's, what's French for? Me, merci. 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 <laughs> you see, merci for you coming got on the show. Many languages. Merci. Merci. Merci for coming on the show. No, Thank merci, you very much. Merci, you're, merci. you're a legend, and we just wanted to give you your flowers. Thank you very much. Wow. We appreciate it. No, I really appreciate. Yeah, really I really appreciate. It. It. Thank you, Patrice. No, thank right. you. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> merci. Thank you. <laughs>